kidding? These killers are smart. Nobody knows what they look like. Hey, wait a minute. There's two guys coming across the street now. Look out the window. Yeah, yeah, that's them. Black derbies, the chief said. Wow, tough-looking gorillas, ain't they? Oh. <laughs> you ain't kidding, so you better get out and meet them, Steve. Okay, okay. Yes, Stanley. Are you sure this is the right address? Of course I'm sure, Stanley. I distinctly remember Mr. Slater saying to deliver the chicken to 703 Maple Street. Oh, I thought he said 307 April Street. <laughs> <laughs> Will you let me handle this? I'll do the thinking on this job. Yeah, but Ollie, you did the thinking on the last job. That's... Will you be quiet? Now, remember what Mr. Slater said. We're not to leave the chicken unless we get the money for it. That's right. No credit. Hey, Stanley. What? I think that man wants to speak to us. Okay, fellas, follow me. We'll go up the back way. Of course. We intended to go to the rear entrance. Right in here. Yeah, touch you guys is never going to get here. We never disappoint a customer. Well, our motto is... Be still, Stanley. I guess we don't use our motto anymore, you see. <laughs> hey, Mike, pull down that shade. Okay. Want to get these guys away? Now, remember, you guys, first you make the delivery, and then later you get the payoff. Now, just one moment. There'll be no delivery until you pay the money. Now, wait a minute. We always get delivery and pay later. Oh, no, none of that. No, no, no credit. No, no, oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Stanley! <laughs> oh, no. You mean no. N O no. <laughs> Will you keep quiet, Stanley? But those were the chief's instructions. The chief? Yeah, I guess that's what they call the man who's going to pay us the money. Yeah, that's right. We don't use names in deals like this. Where is the chief? Oh, he'll be here, just as agreed. First, you got to deliver the goods. Well, that's why we're here. You mean you killed that bird already? Sure, about an hour ago. <laughs> How do you like that? You guys sure move fast. The chief didn't expect you to work that quick. If I ain't too inquisitive, how do you pros work? Do you kill him with a regular 45 rod? Oh, oh no, sir. On this one, we use a standard 14-inch butcher knife. <laughs> butcher knife? Don't they put up a fight? Oh, yeah. Sometimes they put up a terrible struggle. Hey, what do you do then? All they hold some by the feet. <laughs> by the feet? Yeah. And then Stanley takes the axe and chops off the head. <laughs> chops off the head? Relax. Sure, we try to be as gentle as possible. <laughs> But ain't that kind of gruesome? Oh, after a while, you get used to it. It doesn't mean a thing to us now, does it, Stanley? I should say not. You know, we kill as many as two dozen a day. What? Well, well now, that would be on Saturday, of course. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Sure, Saturdays and holidays are our busiest times. Must be an awful strain on you. Oh, no, the strain is on them. <laughs> hey, these guys are human. Tell me, uh, tell me, uh... What do you do with the body? Well, now, that depends. Sometimes we deliver them to the customers just as they are. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, but when we get a tough one, yeah. we dip it in boiling water. <laughs> uh, that softens them up considerably. Oh. Look, what's the matter, Mike? What's the matter? He's what? Is a sheep. Oh. This has been too much for him. Uh, perhaps he's a little faint. Here, my good man, let me help you. <laughs> Get him away from me. Don't let him touch me. Here, have a chair, Mike. Oh. Down. Get him a cold oh. towel, Pompey. All right, all right. Here. Relax now, Mike. Take it easy. Hey, what's that? The cops are pulling up in front. Well, come on. Let's get out of there, quick. Well, they ran away without taking their chicken. Do you think we said something wrong, Ollie? I don't think so, Stanley. Here they are, man. Wait a minute. What is this? We haven't done anything like Back to Law 
Earl and Hardy in just a minute. Now here's Thomas Peluso and the orchestra playing Thanks for the Dream. Housewives, here's a message for you. A new simplified plan for the rationing of processed foods, meats, fats, and oils has now been put into operation. This new plan is designed to simplify rationing for consumer and dealer alike and cut down on shopping time. Here's the way it works. Your blue and red stamps in War Ration Book 4 now have a value of 10 points. The number on the stamp no longer indicates the point value. The blue stamps will be used for processed food only, and the red stamps will be used for meats, fats, and oil. The blue and red stamps will now have a longer validity period of about 12 weeks. That's all there is to it, just a new and simple change in the rationing system. back to Laurel and Hardy, who seem to have gotten themselves into a bit of trouble. Mistaken for two dangerous killers and closely guarded by the police, Laurel and Hardy have been ushered into the city jail. But obviously, the boys don't seem to be quite sure of what it's all about yet. Just picked up those two trigger men, Sergeant. Okay, okay, come on, bring them in. Bring them in, Johnson. Get in there, you two! Uh, they mean us, Stanley. Get over there to the desk. I guess you guys were thinking you could get away with this, huh? Oh, no. Ollie's doing the thinking on this job. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. The fat guy. I figured you were the brains the minute I spotted you. Well, now that you mention it, officer, people often remark that I have a very intelligent-looking face. <laughs> Is he kidding? All right, all right. Come on, search him, Murphy. Come here, you. Uh, one boy scout knife. <laughs> one what? No work in it. <laughs> Twelve cents. Three bottle tops. That's all, Sergeant. Okay, now search the little guy. All right. Hey, there's nothing but holes in this guy's pocket. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you holding in your hand? Which hand? Come on, come on, let's have it. Come on, come on, what do you got there? Let's see it. Oh, that's my yo-yo, officer. <laughs> Yo, yo. Murphy, take them downstairs and throw them in a cell. These guys must be psychopathic killers. Okay, you guys, get in this cell. Uh, thank you very much, officer. Come along, Stanley. The service is nice here, isn't it, Ollie? <laughs> We're so very glad you like it. We aim to please our guests. This is a cozy little place, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe it's because you're in here too, Ollie. <laughs> Do you mind if I lock the door? House regulation, you know. Oh, no. No, not, not at all. Go right ahead. Could we have an extra key? <laughs> you see, Stanley likes to take a short walk before bedtime. Now, isn't that a shame? I don't have an extra key with me, but I'll tell the sergeant to be sure and have one made for you. Ollie. Yes, Stanley? Do you feel hungry? Yeah, I believe that I could do with a little snack. Gee, I'd like a meal like this served to the man in the next cell. Uh, you mean the man who's leaving? What's he going away? Is he going away? Didn't you hear them say that they were giving him his last supper? <laughs> He must like it here. He seemed very unhappy about leaving. <laughs> uh, shall we order dinner now, Stanley? I don't see why not, Ollie. Officer! Oh, officer! Room service! Yeah, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> come on, come on. What's all the noise about? Uh, we'd like to place our order for dinner, please. Oh, you'd like to place your order for dinner? Sure, we eat very regular and we don't like our routine broken. Oh, no. 
No, of course not. We mustn't do that. Uh, I believe that steaks would be nice. Don't you think so, Stanley? I think so. Yeah. I believe a steak would be nice. Make mine a thick one. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, make that two, officer. Two not two thick. thick. <laughs> two thick steaks. Yeah, but he doesn't want it too thick. <laughs> I think I'd like it medium. I think I'd like it medium. No, I think... <laughs> no, I think I'd rather have it rare. Uh, yeah. yeah, I see. Why don't you try it medium rare? Now, that's a very good idea. Make mine the same. Wouldn't you like some dessert, too? Mm. We'll decide about that later. Just bring in the steaks now, my good man. Oh, gentlemen, I just happen to remember we're fresh out of steaks. But in the meantime, here's our blue plate special for today, bread and water! In a cold gray room of the city jail, three grim detectives are relentlessly grilling their two suspects, Laurel and Hardy. The two boys are seated under the merciless glare of an arc lamp while the detectives fire away at them. The third degree has been going on for five hours now, but strangely enough, the detectives seem to be more exhausted than their captives. <laughs> for the last time, are you guys going to confess or not? Come on, spill it. You've sat under that hot light all week. Well, we've been easy on you guys, but we can get rough. Now, really, gentlemen, this whole thing is a mistake. We don't have the least idea what you're talking about. Maybe perhaps if we came back some other time. You're going to stay right here. <laughs> we know who you are. We got you dead to rights. Now talk. Yes, sir. The man wants us to talk, Stanley. All right. What would you like to talk about, Al? <laughs> I don't know. What would you like to talk about, Stanley? Oh, I don't care. And do you want to talk? Let's talk about the, uh, you mem if now listen, you mug. <laughs> I'm going to give you one more chance. Start singing. Singing. Come on. <laughs> Why we'd be delighted. Mamsy dos and dosy dos and little mamsy tiny. Shut up. Tiddly winks and winky tiddles and tiddle and tivy and two and wooden shoes or something. That's it enough. You two? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Donovan. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. What? Come over here. I wonder why they're mad at us, Ollie. Why should they arrest us? It's probably that Mr. Kingsley. He was very angry because you didn't deliver his chicken. Well, it served him right for calling me a nerk. He didn't call you a nerk, Stanley. He called you a jerk. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be mad at him. That's I shouldn't be mad at him. Say, say, does this strong light bother you, Stanley? No, Ollie, but I've got an awful kink in my neck from sitting in this chair so long. Mm. Here, Stanley, sit closer to the lamp. The heat will do your neck good. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Pointed towards my apple. Mm. <laughs> say, I wonder what they're whispering about over there. We've been grilling these two for five hours, and we haven't broken them yet. Yeah. Can't stand them much longer. I'm cracking up. Yeah, me too. My nerves are all shot to pieces. I'd like to murder the both of them. No, that's where you boys are wrong. Mm -hmm. These guys aren't just ordinary mugs. They're clever. They're putting on a dumb act. We've got to outsmart them. <laughs> so what do we do? Act dumb, too? Of course we don't act dumb. we got to use psychology on them. Yeah, I get it. Use brains against brains. Right. Yeah. Now, first, I'll use the friendly approach. Yeah. If that doesn't work, we'll break down their nerves. Fine. You got the file ready, Donovan? Yeah, right here. Okay. Now, when I give you the word, start filing on that iron bar, steady and monotonous-like. That ought to drive them crazy. Brickhouse, yeah. you'll be ready with the water. Let's go. Well, look, boys, you've got us all wrong. We're just trying to help you. All we want is a little information. We know that you boys didn't want to do all those killings, did you? No, sir, but we got so many orders, so we had to do them. <laughs>